Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiriawan and today I want to share about everyday photography using micro four thirds camera and lens. Let's go! So two months ago, I started this everyday photography challenge for myself where I tried to force myself to always bring a camera with me everywhere I go and I always try to find something interesting to photograph almost every day and I thought I want to share a little bit about my experience of doing the everyday photography challenge with micro forters in today's video I want to share about my overall experience my gear that I use not just my camera and lenses but also some other gear that I use to record the video itself and also some of the benefits that I got from this challenge and also some of the struggle that I found doing this challenge so the main reason why I started this everyday photography challenge is because I was becoming very lazy. <laughs> I always find an excuse to not bring my camera when I go somewhere. I mean, I still bring my cameras when I go traveling somewhere, but if I'm only going to a place nearby in town, then I will usually try to find an excuse not to bring my camera and I was just relying on the smartphone's camera and I was trying to justify that the image quality of the smartphone is enough for snapshots. But that also makes me very, you know, lazy, uncreative. I was just trying to take snapshots. I didn't really think about photography and I don't really try to make it look interesting. I don't put enough effort to make the image look good and that's something that I wanna change with this photography challenge. Luckily with micro four thirds camera system, it's not really that difficult to assemble a small, simple, lightweight kit consisting of a small camera body and a few small lenses that I can just bring inside a small bag and just have it with me everywhere I go. So I thought I wanna share my micro four thirds camera and lenses that I usually use for this everyday photography challenge. So let's start with the camera itself. I usually use the Panasonic Lumix GX85, this guy right here, because this is such a small camera. It is really nice. It takes great pictures and video as well. And although it doesn't really have advanced video features such as 3.5 millimeter audio jack or flipping screen, at least it has a really great in-body stabilizer that works fantastically on both still picture and also for video. My favorite lens to use on this everyday photography challenge is this this guy right here, the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7. Simply because it is very small, it is a pancake lens and it is a prime lens. So when you put it on a small camera like the GX85 right here, it almost creates this slim flat profile that's very easy to store inside my bag. And also the image quality taken using this lens is fantastic. It is very sharp, it is very detailed, it has large aperture of f1.7 that really helps with both low light performance as well as a shallow depth of field for that background blur, a uh, very nice bokeh look. And also what I like about the 20 millimeter is the focal length. It is a prime lens that's situated between 17 and 25 millimeter. It's right in between. So I can uh, kind of emulate both 25 millimeter and 17 millimeter, which is one single lens. If I wanna get a little bit tighter shot that I can just move a little bit closer to the subject and get the 25 millimeter look with this lens, if I want something a little bit wider, I can just step back and I can have that wider 17 millimeter kind of look just using a single lens. For sceneries, I really love the Lawa 7.5 millimeter ultra wide angle lens. This is really nice for those wide dramatic scenery, landscape photography. This is such a wonderful lens for that. Not only this is sharp and detailed, it also has large aperture of f2 and also the image quality taken using this wide angle lens is almost perfect because there's almost no distortion with this lens and also the lens is very small very easy to put inside the bag the only problem with the lawa lens is that it's a manual focus lens so if i'm doing something like a focus stacking or something like that 
it's gonna be a little bit tricky without using a tripod and on this everyday photography challenge i try not to use a tripod i try to uh, do everything handheld with camera because the gx85 has a great in-body image stabilizer and yeah uh, the 7.5 millimeter lawa lens is great for that ultra wide angle shot and this covers all my ultra wide angle focal length need Another favorite lens for the everyday photography challenge is the Olympus 45mm f1.8. This small little guy right here. This is excellent for portrait. For my everyday photography challenge, sometimes I'm taking portraits of my wife and this lens is my favorite because it produces excellent image quality and the background blur is just excellent with this lens again this is a small lens so very easy to put inside the bag and the image quality taken with this lens is very sharp i think the compression of 45 millimeter is just nice it is tight but not too tight and overall i'm really happy with this lens for portrait and also for a close up to an object like flowers or food photography or something similar so yeah olympus 45 millimeter f1.8 when I need flexibility and versatility, then I will usually bring this little zoom lens with me. This is the kit lens of the Panasonic GX85, the Panasonic Lumix 12 to 32 millimeter f3.5 to f5.6. This is another small pancake lens that you can just easily put inside the bag. And also if you combine it with the GX85, it can create that slim profile that makes the whole camera and lens package very easy to store as well. And the image quality taken with this lens, although it doesn't have large aperture, it is still very nice. It is very sharp, very detailed. I just love the flexibility that I got from this lens. I can cover anything from normal wide angle all the way to light telephoto with just one single lens. If I need a little bit more of telephoto capability compared to the 45 millimeter, then I will go for the Panasonic Lumix 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 this little guy right here because i can go to 100 millimeter and that's probably uh, all that i need most of the time i don't really need anything longer than this and with this lens i'm able to photograph tighter landscape shots i can isolate a subject from far away i can photograph smaller things with this lens and it's been very convenient and the image quality is just really nice it is very sharp almost as sharp as the f2.8 version of this lens so yeah in terms of telephoto lens this is my choice either the 35 to 100 or the olympus 45 depending on what i need so i hope you can start to see a theme right here all of the lenses that i use for this everyday photography challenge they need to be small but they need to be very capable and they need to produce great image quality as well as you can see all of these lenses very very small very very easy to pack inside my bag sometimes depending on the location that i visit i can also bring a secondary camera body so that i can have two lenses ready at the same time if i want to be more serious about the photography that i'm doing so the second camera body that i use for this everyday photography challenge is my panasonic lumix g85 that's currently recording this video and i really love to use an ultra wide angle lens with that camera body so my ultra wide lens for a more serious kind of setup is usually the panasonic leica 8 to 18 millimeter f 2.8 to f4 this is such a nice lens for landscape photography for getting that wide scenery shot and also you can zoom a little bit to 18 millimeter and get that kind of compressed look a wide angle normal angle kind of shot uh, for street photography and also for close-up object as well it's such a very versatile and flexible ultra wide angle lens and i really love to use this lens for this everyday photography challenge speaking about recording the vlogs of the everyday photography challenge i will usually use the dji pocket 2 this little guy right here to record all of the footages of me trying to photograph something with my gx85 or my g85 and i will usually just attach the dji pocket 2 into this mounting system right here i can just clip it right there and then i can just attach this mounting system into the strap of my bag that i carry with me when i'm doing the everyday photography challenge and i can uh, sort of get that pov kind of look using this uh, dji pocket 2 camera right here and speaking about the audio of uh, the footage i will usually just use 
uh, the wireless microphone that comes with the DJI Pocket 2. Speaking about the goal of the everyday photography challenge, this is not to create the most perfect photograph ever. No, that's not the whole point of why I'm doing this everyday photography challenge. My main reason, my main goal of doing this everyday photography challenge is to have a photography exercise time. So imagine you're an athlete and you want to go to the Olympics. You have to train a lot. You have to do a lot of exercise. You have to build your body. You have to build your strength and your movement. And you have to be very skillful and you'll be able to compete in the Olympics. It's the same thing with photography. If you never train, if you never exercise with your photography, your skill will degrade over time. You become lazier and lazier and lazier and you become less creative and that's the problem with photography and when you become lazy and you become not creative then you will blame the gear oh my camera is not good enough oh my camera is not small enough i cannot bring it every day with me well my main goal is to break all of these reasons break all of these excuses so that i can have photography exercise time so i can become better photographer i can develop my skills i can uh, just train and exercise so that my photography skills can become better i and i can also have a better enjoyment of my photography hobby now after doing this everyday photography challenge for almost two months i started to see some benefits and i want to share those benefits with you first benefit i started to take more pictures so i ended up with more pictures and some of these pictures are keeper pictures that I really love and enjoy. So yeah, by doing this everyday photography challenge, I can end up with more nice pictures in my portfolio and I can just share these pictures to my friends and family and tell them how I take the pictures and it's just really fun, you know. Next benefit is I can start to pre-visualize the pictures before I even take the picture. So let me explain. Uh, now if I walk into a location and I start to see a scene, I can start to imagine uh, if that scene is better taken using a 20 millimeter lens, a 45 millimeter lens, or a 7.5 millimeter lens. I can start to uh, imagine it in my mind before I even take the picture. And that is very important because I really think that pre-visualization is an important skill uh, that you need to have uh, when you're doing photography because by doing a pre-visualization you can start to understand uh, the way your lens work the way certain focal lengths behave and you can take better pictures that way another benefit of doing this everyday photography challenge is i started to learn and explore more locations in my hometown that i never previously explored before so it's really fun every time we go out there and try to find a new location with my wife we always ended up in a really nice location that we never knew existed existed before and we really enjoyed that locations that we visited and yeah this really makes me enjoy my hometown even more now i also want to share some struggle when it comes to the everyday photography challenge first struggle is that not every location is photogenic not every location is beautiful sometimes you ended up with location that is very nice that is very beautiful very photogenic you just take out your camera start taking some pictures and you ended up instantly with nice pictures but sometimes some location is just boring it's ugly it's dirty and you have to try to come up with interesting ways to photograph this location and sometimes i even think about giving up on this location but the point of this challenge is again not to produce the greatest photograph the most beautiful photograph but this is an exercise time so i ended up trying to take some pictures even though i don't post it on my videos next challenge is the crowd <laughs> sometimes when i'm in a crowded location and i'm doing this photography challenge while also recording the video for you when i started vlogging uh turning on my camera and i start talking to the camera people will start to look at me in a weird way like i'm talking to myself maybe they think i'm crazy and sometimes that makes me a little bit uncomfortable because frankly speaking i'm not an extrovert i'm very introverted and i'm very shy in front of people so yes this is a really hard challenge for me another challenge 
time. I don't always have all the time in the world. I try to squeeze a little bit of photography time, maybe about half an hour, an hour every day, whenever I can. But when things get really busy, I cannot really make time at all for my photography. And that's really a challenge for me. If I only have five minutes, 10 minutes, then usually I can only take one picture and I cannot really share it into this vlog. But uh, at least I try, uh, I try to make the effort to photograph something, just one photograph minimal every day. And that is part of the everyday photography challenge. However, one thing for sure that is not the challenge is the gear. With micro four touch camera and lens because they're small, it's no longer an excuse to not bring your camera gear everywhere you go. As I already show it to you, my camera and my lenses, they are quite small and they fit easily inside this small sling messenger bag that I can just bring everywhere with me uh, and I can just have all my cameras and lenses ready at all time. And yeah, no longer excuse of not bringing your camera everywhere you go. So now that I've shared to you my experience of doing this everyday photography challenge, I want you all to try this everyday photography challenge for yourself. If you don't have the time to do it every day, don't worry, just do it whenever you have time. Remember, the goal of doing this photography challenge is not to create the most perfect picture, uh, but uh, what I want you all to do is to try to find something interesting that you can photograph in your everyday life. And I hope by doing this everyday photography challenge, you can start to uh, get the benefits on, of doing this challenge, as I mentioned before, and ultimately makes you become a better photographer and also to enjoy photography even more. If you decide to join this Everyday Photography Challenge and you are interested in sharing your picture, you can go to this link right here and you can submit your picture there, tell a little bit of story about that picture and I will feature some of your pictures into my future videos so that we can learn together from your pictures as well. I hope that I will start to see your submission soon and I will still also do this everyday photography challenge for myself. So expect to see more vlogs in the future of me uh, trying to do this everyday photography. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that this video is useful, informative and entertaining for you. So please comment down below if you have any question. Also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below. Thank you and goodbye.